Hi everyone, it's Mrs Hudson here. We're going to be reading the story Street Child by Burley Doherty, which would have been our story for this term if we were back at school. Uh, it ties in nicely with our Victorian topic. The knowledge organiser for Street Child is on the website, on the home learning pages. Um, so you can have a look at that as well, see a little bit more. But hopefully you're going to have the chance to hear a bit of this every day. So, we're going to start off by reading the start, which is called Tell Me Your Story, Jim. Jim Jarvis, want to know who that is? It's me. That's my name. Only thing I've got is my name. And I've give it away to this man, Barney his name is, or something like that. He told me once, only I forget it, see, and I don't like to ask him again. Mr, I call him, to his face that is, but there's a little space in my head where his name is Barney. He keeps asking me things. He wants to know my story. That's what he tells me. My story, mister? What do you want to know that for? I ain't much of a story, my name. And he looks at me, all quiet. It is, Jim, he says. It's a very special story. It changed my life, child, meeting you. Funny that, ain't it? Because he changed my life, Barney did. I can't believe my luck, and that's a fact. Here I am, with food in my belly, and good hot food at that, and plenty more where that came from, he says. I'm wearing clothes that smell nice, and that don't have no holes in neither, and I'm in this room where there's a great big fire burning, and plenty more logs to put on it, so it won't just die off. There's just me and him. The other boys are upstairs in their hammocks, all cosy in the big room we sleep in. And downstairs there's just me and him, special. I want to laugh, I'm so full of something that I want to laugh out loud and I stuff my fist in my mouth to stop myself. Barney gives me that look, all quiet. Just tell me your story. My story? Well, I creep back to the fire for this and hug my knees. I close my eyes to shut out the way the flames dance about and the way his shadow and mine climb up and down the walls. I shut out the sound of the fire sniffing like a dog at a rat hole and I think I can hear someone talking very softly. It's a woman's voice talking to a child and I think she's talking to me. Mister, I says, just whispering so as I don't chase the voice away. Can I tell you about my ma? So that's the first extract of the story. What do you think is going to happen next in the story? Who is this character? What's his story to tell? And what's he going to tell you about his ma as well? See if you can make some predictions. Email them to us if you've got some good ideas. And we'll send the next part of the story through soon. Bye.